Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you all done great. Today's lesson is Science subject for grade 3. Lesson 4. This tutorial prepared by Dawar Harami for Dr. Mustafa Zalmi Private Basic School. Chapter 2. Vocabulary. Environment. Desert. Permanent snow line. Deciduous trees. Evergreen trees. Salt water. Where living things are found. Living things are all around us in the air, on the land, and in the water. In this chapter you'll explore where living things are found and how their bodies and behaviors help them in their environments. The ground cone is one of the most unusual wildflowers, it looks like a pine cone sitting on the ground. Since most animals don't eat pine cones, this is a great way of hiding. Vocabulary Environment Desert Vocabulary Environment Desert Desert environment Characteristics of deserts In the investigation you observed a model of a desert environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things that make up an area or region. A desert is an environment where there is very little rainfall. Many years could even pass without a desert getting any rainfall. In summer, it is very hot in daytime but the heat decreases during the night. In the semi-desert areas bordering deserts rain falls every year, but the amount is not much more than what a desert gets, and the average temperatures are also similar. About half the area of Kurdistan region Iraq is semi-desert Karkuk, and south of Erbil Governorate are semi-desert areas. What are the characteristics of the desert environment? It is very hot. Very little rainfall. Plants are very rare. What are the characteristics of the desert environment? It is very hot. Very little rainfall. Plants are very rare. Desert plants. Plants are very rare in the desert. Plants that grow in deserts have parts that help them get water and save it. Some desert plants have long roots that spread out near the top of the soil. Here the roots can easily soak up water when it does rain. Some desert trees and bushes such as acacia trees have long roots that grow deep into the ground to reach the deep layers of the soil that have water. Many desert plants, such as cactus, have thick stems that store water. Some animals eat these stems to get the water they need to live. In semi-desert areas, plants increase gradually as we move away from desert. These plants include sparsely spread bushes with interspersed grasses especially spiny grasses. Yarrow, kaisum, rye, shalam, and wormwood she, are examples of semi-desert plants in Kurdistan region. How do desert plants get water? Some desert plants have long roots that spread out near the top of the soil. Can easily soak up water when it does rain. Some desert trees have long roots that grow deep into the ground to reach the deep layers of the soil that have water. Many desert plants have thick stems that store water. Desert animals. Very few animals live in the desert because water is rare. Desert animals get most of their water by eating plants that store water and by eating other animals. Reptiles such as snakes and lizards that live in the desert stay in burrows during the day to avoid the heat. Scorpions and insects are other desert animals. These animals have hard body coverings that keep them from losing too much water. Small desert mammals such as rabbits, mice, and gerboas are active during the night or early morning, when the air is cooler. During the day they sleep in their burrows, which protect them from heat and dryness. 
More plant-eating animals, such as deer live in semi-desert environments, where there is plenty of grass and where water is found in ponds and small springs. How do desert animals get water? By eating plants that store water and eating other animals. How do desert animals get water? By eating plants that store water and eating other animals. What are the characteristics of the desert environment? It is very hot. Very little rainfall. Plants are very rare. How do desert plants get water? Some desert plants have long roots that spread out near the top of the soil. Can easily soak up water when it does rain. Some desert trees have long roots that grow deep into the ground to reach the deep layers of the soil that have water. Many desert plants have thick stems that store water. How do desert animals get water? By eating plants that store water and eating other animals. Summary A desert is a dry environment, whereas the semi desert environment is less dry. Plants and animals that live in Deserts have parts that help them get what they need to live. For more kinds of plants and animals live in semi-desert environments than in desert environments. The large ears of this fennec help adhere its enemies. The fennec also gets rid of extra heat from its body through the thin skin of its ears. Review 1. What is a desert? Is an environment where there is very little rainfall. 2. How does the semi desert environment differ from the desert environment? Rainfall every year. Number of plants and animals live in semi desert more than desert. 3. Where do desert plants store water? In thick stems. 4. Other than eating plants, how do desert animals get water? By eating other animals. 5. Living things in deserts suffer the most from a. Heat. b. Few kinds of plants. c. Very little water. d. Plenty of water. Correct answer. c. Very little water. Vocabulary. Permanent snow line. Deciduous trees. Evergreen trees. Vocabulary. Permanent snow line. Deciduous trees. Evergreen trees. Mountain environment. Characteristics of the mountain environment. As we climb up the mountain the temperature of the air decreases. That is why the air at the mountaintop is colder than at the bottom. Much more rain falls on mountains than on the surrounding lowlands. Precipitation in the higher mountain regions is mostly in the form of snow. In many mountains snow remains on the peaks all year round because of the extreme cold. These regions are called the regions of permanent snow, and the line above which snow remains all year round is called the permanent snow line. Mountains cover a wide area of Kurdistan region Iraq. In Choman Mountains for example, the permanent snow line is at an altitude of 3,500 meters. How does temperature change in the mountain environment? As we climb up the mountain the temperature of the air decreases. How does temperature change in the mountain environment? As we climb up the mountain the temperature of the air decreases. Mountain plants. In the mountain environments plants vary according to altitude. Because the temperature of the air changes at different altitudes. In the mountains of Kurdistan region Iraq, forests of mainly ordinary oak occur in the lower regions. Bushes of hawthorn, sumac, and pistachia, source of Kurdish gum, grow among the oak trees. Above the ordinary oak region extend forests of mainly gall oak with bushes of juniper and balalak growing among the oak. 
Forests of pine trees occur in Zawida and Atrash at the same altitude. Above the region of Gaul oak occur forests of Lebanese oak trees, together with other plants that can endure cold. Such as maple trees, pistachia, and muhala bushes. Above the region of forests extends a region of pastureland and grasses such as moss. Above this region extends a region of nearly bare rock. Finally, beyond and above this region is the region of permanent snow. In valleys and on river banks grow trees that take water, such as willow, sycamore, and poplar trees. List the distribution of mountain plants from the lower region to the highest. 1. Ordinary oak, hawthorn, sumac. 2. Pine, gall oak. 3. Lebanese oak, maple. List the distribution of mountain plants from the lower region to the highest. 1. Ordinary oak, hawthorn, sumac. 2. Pine, gall oak. 3. Lebanese oak, maple. Two kinds of trees. Oak, willow, poplar, and maple trees are deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are the trees whose leaves fall in autumn because of the cold. New leaves begin to grow in the next spring. Pine trees are evergreen trees, evergreen trees are trees whose leaves do not fall at the same time. They have green leaves throughout the year. Mountain animals. Many kinds of animals live in the mountains. Some kinds eat plants, while other kinds eat animals. In the mountains of Kurdistan region Iraq, live many kinds of animals too. Of these is the mountain goat, which lives at high altitudes ranging between 1500 m and 2000 m. Its flexible hooves allow it to move quickly and steadily on rocky rough paths. Other plant-eating animals, such as hedgehogs, squirrels, and hares live also in the mountains of Kurdistan region Iraq. Together with these animals live their natural enemies, the wolves, foxes, jackals, hyenas, and brown bears that are all meat eaters. Plant eaters animals are Hare Squirrel on tree The mountain goat can climb steep regions. Hedgehog. Meat eaters animals. R. Brown beer. Jackal. Hyena. Animals live in the mountains. Some animals are plant eaters and others are meat eaters. Many kinds of birds too live in the mountains or Kurdistan region Iraq such as vultures and quails, which are indigenous birds, in addition to migrating birds that seek warmth, such as white storks. Some mammals that live in high regions move just before winter to the warmer, middle and lower regions. They then return to their original habitats in the next spring. Some rodents make shelters below the snow and sleep all through the winter, then become active again in spring. Tell of one way animals living in high regions avoid the cold winter. Some rodents make shelters below the snow and sleep all through the winter, then become active again in spring. Tell of one way animals living in high regions avoid the cold winter. Some rodents make shelters below the snow and sleep all through the winter, then become active again in spring. Mountain animals. Plant eaters. Hare. Goat. Squirrel. Hedgehog. Meat eaters. Brown beer. Fox. Wolf. Hyena. Jackal. Mountain birds. Vulture. Quail. Stork. Summary. The air gets colder and rainfall increases in mountain regions as we climb higher. Precipitation on mountaintops is in the form of snow.
Plants in mountain environments differ from one region to another according to altitudes because of the differences in temperature. Various animals live in mountain environments. Some of them are plant eaters and others are meat eaters. Review 1. How does the amount of precipitation differ among the regions of the mountain environment? Much more rain falls on mountains than on the surrounding lowlands. Rainfall increases in mountain regions as we climb higher. 2. How are the kinds of plants distributed in the mountain environment? What determines this distribution? Plants in mountain environments are distributed according to altitudes. Differences in temperature determine distribution. 3. Explain one way mountain animals protect themselves from the changes of the environmental conditions. Some rodents make shelters below the snow and sleep all through the winter, then become active again in spring. 4. Why plants do not grow in the region of permanent snow? Because snow remains all year round in this region. 5. Which of the following plants grow in the lower regions of a mountain? A. Pine trees. B. Oak trees. C. Evergreen trees. D. Mosses. Correct answer. B. Oak trees.